bottle cap, what is it? That's a quarter. Bottom and quarter. Hello, Mr. Washington. It's just amazing what you can find with metal detectors today. I'm going to show you a compilation of some incredible things that have been found with metal detectors this week. Today, we're getting started with our dog, Treasure Hunter, as he was finding the shiny stuff. Check this out. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh. oh, that's gold all day long. I'm not even going to take my other glove off. He's a little. Oh, yeah, there's markings in there. Wow. Oh, it's got nice weight, too, for how small it is. That's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely, it's engraved, I think. There you go, dig pull tabs. One of the favorite things we can find with metal detectors are old coins. Boy, and when they're silver, it's something special. Check it out from Dig That Beep as they were finding the old coin. Check it out. Oh, that just, that just, that just, that just freaking hurt me. Oh my God. Oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, oh, hold on, I gotta oh calm down. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut some of that out. Oh, dude, that's gonna be, a, that's gonna be an early one too. Oh my God, Woo. man. Okay. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> What's the odds of that? Okay, okay, I can talk now. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, something crazy just happened. And I seen it, and I didn't know what I had. But if you take a look right there, I've got my first ever seated quarter. It's 18 something. I'm not gonna rub it. This could have some serious value to it, but that right there left me speechless. I am completely shocked. I need a fist bump, man. Dude, she's 1860s. I know. Let's head back to the beach as Chris with Ring Finders joins up with the Gig Master, two great channels, and finds the amazing find in the sand on the beach. Wow. All right, Chris is calling us back over. He says he's got something good. Good for oh you. my god, he got clothes up in his hand. Oh my god. It's very light. Holy but it's gold. Smoke. Yeah. They got all kind of. It's damage. been there. You can tell it's been there a long time. Oh Couple my god, time. congratulations, man. Thank oh my you. god, that's probably a tin carrot, I would guess. I'd guess too. Man, awesome! Right there, brother! Wow, that's somebody's story there. Oh my god, you ain't kidding. But I bet you that's been there for a few years. Yep, I bet it has too. Did I mention amazing old coins? Let's go visit Diggin' Duo. I still heard a squeaker. I don't even know what I got. Oh, it is a seated dime. Holy crap. <laughs> Wow, 1885, let me clean it up. I did not, this is the first, second hole I dug. Second hole, oh, I got it good. And my first hole at this new spot. I cannot believe it, first hole. If that's not a new spot, 1876, looks like a Philly, wow. You know, coins and jewelry aren't the only things that treasure hunters are out there looking for. Sometimes they're looking for very ancient artifacts of the peoples that used to be here before us. You gotta appreciate that history and no one does it better than heartbreaker relics as they were on the very old native artifact. Check this out. I am, however, a seventh generation Mississippian and I love hunting in my home state of Mississippi. And we have some fantastic artifacts here as are going to be seen in this video. And I think it's a whole point. Yeah, it's a whole point. I didn't think it was a point. And I flipped it with this stick. And I believe it might be. Yes, 
good point, I think. There's a point and there's a point. Yeah. Well, I'll take it. Yeah, we can sure see it. That's an in situ picture right there, how that point was. A little ear damage, Mr. Gary Maybon. There's a live find. Look at there. Mm -hmm. That's an older airhead. Mm -hmm. Sometimes finding old relics, man, from our old military days is absolutely incredible. Let's go check in with Quarter Hoarder as they were at it again and finding the incredible relics. I've always wanted to find one of these. Wow, watch this. Take a look at this. Oh, man, we'll see what so, this is. This is what I think it is. Let, let's see if Charlie knows what it's it is first. It's a big oh bucket gosh. lister yes, for me. Yes, I know what that is. Let me see this. Big that bucket is, lister for my me. God. And I don't know well, a lot about so Civil cool. War stuff, so I could be wrong. But I think these were not only Civil War, but I think they were Confederate yeah. Civil War. I was debating oh, no. on calling up Riley Bryant when right. I saw it, because he's an expert on that. That probably came home from a veteran, maybe, or That's something. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Wow, look at the details know, coming through. You can see oh, the snakes. Hold Joe's button. Don't you lose it, though. I know he likes it. Eyes and oh, all look the at scales. that. All yeah. the scales. As it dries, they Is get that for better and better. Or something? Was like a belt on your belt. belt. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. right. Look yes. at that's, that. That's that's, that's, that's right. This field, it's like it's like a wizard came down and casted <laughs> a magic spell. You know what I mean? Like the things we're finding in this field. And we're not going far either. No. We, we've been hanging out. Foot we're we're not going to leave this. Coming back to the same spot. Oh so my god! Third time. Wow, that's amazing, that's Rich. Rich. Congratulations. Yeah, that's Congratulations. That's one of the the best pieces you could hope for for Civil War stuff. I mean, up in New Jersey. Man, we've seen old coins, we've seen old relics and old ancient artifacts. You know what else is cool? Old bottles, man. And no one finds more, I tell you, than adventure archaeology. Let's go check in with my friend Brandon and see what he was finding in them deep pits he digs. It's whole, but holy cow with the melt on it. That thing has been warped, still has a stopper in it. But these warp bottles, believe it or not, people like them a whole lot. They're super cool that they were able to survive over 120 years, but it's even cooler that they were able to survive a fire that was hot enough to melt it without it cracking. Tristan's got him a mug-based hutch. What is it? But Galesburg Bottling Works. Hey, Davis, Galesburg, Mississippi. Cool. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, hold it up where the camera can see it. Look, yeah. it's perfect. The bug kills perfect. Here, you gotta hold it it's still got for a, a second. Where we can see the, look at that, Alabama Bottling Company. You got a bit? Hot <clears throat> oh, no Yep. Way. Nope. What is that? Jenkins, Jenkins stomach bitters. Jenkins stomach bitters. I've never seen one of those. Oh, uh, this, this is a good one. That's yeah. probably pretty daggum rare, yeah, huh? Yeah, it's, it's probably $100 plus. James went home and did a little bit of research on that bottle because he hadn't seen one in a long time. Come to find out, the last two that sold were back during the 1990s. The first one sold for just over $400. The second one sold for over $800. Take a look at that. Right there, it's one of the Joss A. Magnus. And that's one of the fancy ones though. So check it out. The first stencil jug that we've got out here other than the minis and James pulled it. Congratulations. I know that's the most common probably stencil jug from Birmingham, isn't it? Yeah. But we've never it's dug always, one. It's always good to dig one. Well, I was gonna say, we've never dug one on the channel. Look at what Clayton threw out. Without the detector though, I would not have heard it because it had a layer of dirt on it. Right in his shovel full. Look at that beautiful pocket watch. That's actually a good looking one too. Oh, yeah. That's gonna clean up good, man. Pocket watch. And check out these finds that were sent in by our viewers. Send your cool finds to me, DK, at adventuresindirt.com. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for more amazing items being found out there. And we'll see you next week.